If you're even the slightest bit interested in running, you'll probably have heard of the term long run, or to be more specific, the weekend long run. Well, in today's video, I'm going to take you through my entire long run routine as a beginner marathon runner to show you just what I get up to along the way. And let's go! and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a 20 mile long run to conquer, the joint second longest training run of my entire marathon training block. Now this time around I'm actually going to be running the entire 20 miles in one go because you may remember last time I ran 20 miles I cheated slightly by running the Leicester 10k in the morning and then running an additional 14 miles in the afternoon. I made a whole video about it, go check it out after this one if you want to. Now typically my weekend long run starts with my alarm going off somewhere around 8 o'clock in the morning and I try my hardest to get out of bed and moving within 15 minutes of waking up. I say try my hardest because this doesn't always go to plan but we can't all be perfect and that's okay. But the reason I aim to try and get up and moving so quickly is I aim to get some sort of food within my body before nine o'clock. Now old Dan used to think he could do his long runs fasted but trust me this is a dreadful idea and is literally going to make you feel like absolute trash. Currently my go-to breakfast fueling is either a jam bagel or a banana or if I'm feeling really peckish I'll actually have both. Fueling in the morning doesn't quite stop there. For this entire marathon training block, I've actually been using the bulk electrolyte powder mixed with about 500 milliliters of squash just to top up my sodium stores because I lose so much sweat. So by taking the electrolytes in the morning, it means I'm so much less likely to cramp up when I'm actually out on my long run. Bagels are a top tier runner's breakfast and if anyone tries to deny that, you're wrong. Just, there's, there's no argument to have. Now that is pretty much it for my morning. Nature's going to call in about half an hour's time and if you don't know what I mean by nature, I mean me and the toilet are going to have a pretty good date together and then it will be into my running gear and getting out the door to actually start the main part of this video which is my long run. Weekend, one thing and one thing only long runs and today is 20 miles let's go get it So as I said before, today's long run is going to be somewhere around 20 miles. The first 6.2 miles are going to be at a comfortable pace, falling right around the 8.30 per mile mark. I'm then going to do another 6.2 mile block at 7.55 per mile, and then one final block of 6.2 miles at marathon pace. And then to wrap the session up, there's going to be a 1.2 mile cooldown at whatever speed my body feels comfortable at. I genuinely hate wind with a passion. I will run in any other weather condition. Rain, sunshine, snow, bitter freezing cold. Wind is just not it. Why, just, why? why does wind exist? Something 
thing I haven't actually spoke about much within these videos is how I'm going to be fueling my marathon and what my fueling strategy actually is. And the reason I haven't spoken about it is I wanted to make sure I got it locked down before I shared it, else I could be sharing complete trash. So my race fueling strategy is going to consist of one gel that I'm going to take before the race and then five more gels throughout my marathon. So obviously, like I said, I'm going to take one gel before the race and then within the actual marathon, I'll take my first gel at mile five and then the remaining four are going to be taken every four miles after that. Meaning my gel miles will be mile 5, 9, 13, 17 and 21. <music> long run came in at 19.8 miles with a time on feet of 3 hours 36 minutes and 9 seconds. Average pace was 7 minutes 53 per mile. Pretty solid way to get my taper started. Have I mentioned that I've started my taper? This long run was the end of week one of my three week taper. I don't think I've mentioned that. So within the first few hours that follow my long run, there's a couple of things that I try and prioritise. The first of which is a proper cool down. Now I've already done mine for today and I completely forgot to film it, but an adequate cool down is literally essential if you don't want to get injured after your long runs. Once my cool down's done though, we're on to one of my favourite parts of the day, that's lunchtime. Now I've said it before and I'll say it again, I do not follow a diet and I do not know anywhere near as much as I should about marathon nutrition. However, I can tell you what food absolutely slaps after a long run. So depending on how hungry I get, some of my go-to lunches include battered chicken breasts and rice, more bagels with a super healthy serving of melted grated cheese on top, or if I'm feeling really fancy, leftover dinner from the night before, which to be fair, usually consists of something either pasta based or meat based. So both have massive benefits. I aim to get food inside of me within an hour of finishing my long run as I believe this is the best time frame in order for our body to absorb more nutrients. However, I could be completely wrong about that. So please take it with a pinch of salt. And if you do know the best time to eat after a long run, let me know that as well. Now I absolutely stink, so I'm gonna go grab a shower and I'll probably catch up with you a little later on. Do as I say, not as I do, because normally I'd have bagels or chicken and rice for my lunch, but we've got nothing else in the house. So I'm having a pizza after my 20 mile run. <laughs> Ah, I just whacked my head. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have barely moved since finishing my long run. The time is currently half past seven in the evening. I had an absolutely banging lasagna for dinner and all I've done since my long run is sit at my desk and edit all the footage you've already seen in this video. Now, don't get me wrong, there are definitely days where I have a lot more energy after my long runs and I'll still be up and active and doing things, but Today is just not one of those days. And whilst there is something to be said about doing active recovery and trying to keep your body moving after doing quite an intense run like a weekend long run, we're all human and we definitely all just enjoy sitting and doing sweet nothing. And I can't lie to you, all I really want to do right now is sleep. So if you're watching this video after doing your weekend long run and you are sat being a couch potato like me, this is your sign to get up and move because you will get stiff and you will not thank yourself in the morning. Like, I promise you. Did you like that I put some of my uh, race numbers up? Um, right. I want to start this outro by saying, 
but not all weekends go as smoothly as this one did. There's definitely been weekends within my training where I've not had as much time as I did today and different parts of my weekend long run routine have either been missed altogether or I've had to rush through them because I needed to do something else or get somewhere. However, when days like today do come up and I have all the time in the world, I make sure to follow every single step as best I can to get the absolute most out of my training. Now, at the time of filming this video, I only actually have two proper weeks left of training and then it's race day. In fact, depending on when this video actually goes live, I might only have like a week and a half left. Speaking of which, if you don't want to miss any of the final weeks of my marathon training, then please go down and hit that subscribe button. And whilst you're there, if you've enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like as it genuinely means so much more to me than you might initially think and it helps my channel out a ton. After the marathon's complete, I'm still going to be posting YouTube videos every single week and I've got some massive plans that you probably don't want to miss out on. That is all from me today. I hope you all have a smashing day and I'll Catch you all next Saturday at 6 p.m. Is that okay? I shouldn't be yours if it means changing who I am to get us through. You shouldn't be mine because you're you. I've had enough, now, yeah, I've had enough. Oh, oh, say you about it. Ah, <laughs> oh, I've lost the world to live.